Today, I'm here to unravel the secrets behind her game-changing rotational exercises, shedding light on how they elevate her performance on the court and why they should become staples in every tennis player's regimen. Let's kick things off by zooming in on core stiffness and activation through anti-rotation and anti-lateral flexion. These mouthful terms might sound like something out of a biomechanics textbook, but trust me, they're the real MVPs behind Sabalenka's ability to paint those corners with precision. Try to picture in the court for a moment as she unleashes a thunderous forehand or executes a lightning fast backhand, her core isn't just along for the ride, it's the driving force behind every stroke. By honing in on exercises that challenge her core stability, Sabalenka ensures that her powerhouse muscles are primed for action, allowing her to generate maximum force and control through a variety of ranges. So, what are the importance of integrating the lower and upper limbs with the torso? Think of it like a symphony orchestra, where every section plays in perfect harmony. Without this integration, it's like trying to dance without rhythm. Awkward, inefficient, and prone to stumbling. In tennis, where split-second decisions and lightning-fast movements can make or break a match, this integration is non-negotiable. Sabalenka's training regimen is chock-full of exercises designed to bridge the gap between her limbs and her torso, ensuring seamless coordination and fluidity in her movements. But why does this matter, you ask? Well, imagine trying to execute a picture-perfect serve or nail a precision volley with disjointed movements. It's like trying to thread a needle with oven mitts on, not exactly a recipe for success. Rotational exercises serve as the grease that keeps the gears turning smoothly ensuring that every movement flows seamlessly from one to the next. They are all about resisting the temptation to twist and turn like a pretzel. By stabilizing your core and preventing rotation, you are laying down the foundation for explosive power and pinpoint accuracy. Take the Palov press for example. As you resist the pull of the cable trying to twist you like a tornado, you are not just working your abs, you're building bulletproof core strength that translates directly to your strokes on the court. Next on the roster, we have antilateral flexion exercises. These gems focus on preventing your body from bending sideways like a bendy straw. By challenging your core to stay strong and stable in the face of lateral forces, you're building resilience and fortitude that can withstand even the most punishing rallies. Think of the side plank with a dumbbell raise. As you lift that weight overhead while holding a perfect side plank position, you're not just sculpting your shoulders, you're forging an unbreakable link between your upper and lower body, ensuring that every movement flows with grace and power. But perhaps the most crucial aspect of rotational exercises is their ability to train your body to move as a cohesive unit. Tennis isn't just about swinging your racket, it's about seamlessly transferring energy from your feet to your fingertips with every shot. That's where exercises like medicine ball throws and cable chops come into play. By incorporating dynamic movements that mimic the actions you'll perform on the court, you're training your body to fire on all cylinders when it matters most. By training the integration of her limbs with her torso, Sabalenka not only enhances her mechanical efficiency, but also reduces the risk of injury. After all, a finely tuned machine is far less likely to break down under pressure. So, what can we learn from Sabalenka's rotational movement exercises routine? First and foremost, don't neglect the powerhouse that is your core. Embrace exercises that challenge your stability and strengthen your foundation it'll pay dividends on the court. Secondly, don't be a lone wolf when it comes to training. Your limbs and torso are meant to work in tandem, not in isolation. Incorporate exercises that promote integration and coordination, and watch as your game reaches new heights. So, whether you're a professional athlete striving for greatness 
or a recreational player looking to up your game, don't sleep on the power of rotational exercises. They're the secret weapon in Sabalenka's arsenal, and they could be the missing piece of the puzzle in your own journey to tennis glory. And if you add the next exercise, thing will be working well for you in your physical preparation. First off, try to imagine this. A tennis match, the intensity palpable, each player poised for lightning quick movements. From serving aces to chasing down that tricky drop shot, every motion demands precision and agility. That's where joint mobility steps onto the court. In essence, joint mobility is the holy grail of fluid movement. It's about ensuring that your player's joints can bend, twist and pivot freely without any hiccups. Think of it as giving their bodies the green light to glide effortlessly into those killer shots and swift sprints across the court. But it's not just about hitting the ball harder or sprinting faster. Nope, it's about safeguarding against injuries that could bench your players. By nurturing healthy joint mobility, you're building a fortress against those pesky sprains and strains that lurk in the shadows of sudden movements. And here's the most important thing. Joint mobility isn't just a pre-match warm-up ritual. Nope, it's a game changer in the long haul. By incorporating these exercises into your players' routines, you're not just preparing them for battle. You're investing in their longevity on the court. So, what's the bottom line? Joint mobility isn't just a fancy term thrown around by fitness gurus. It's the secret sauce that keeps your players agile, injury-free, and dominating the court. So go ahead, make joint mobility a staple in your coaching playbook and watch your players unleash their full potential. Sabalenka, with her powerful strokes and lightning-fast reflexes, didn't just wake up one day and magically possess these skills. Nope. It's all about the grind, and a big part of that grind involves eye-hand coordination drills. So, what exactly are these drills all about? Well, they're like a symphony of movements designed to improve not just Sabalenka's balance, coordination, and body awareness, but also her control, reactivity, and movement quality. It's like fine-tuning a high-performance machine to operate at its peak efficiency. Think about it. Tennis is a game of split-second decisions and lightning-fast reactions. Every shot requires precision timing and coordination between different parts of the body. That's where these drills come in handy. They help Sabalenka and any aspiring tennis player synchronize her mind and body. So when that ball comes hurtling towards her at lightning speed, she's ready to respond with grace and power. But it's not just about hitting the ball back. No, it's about doing so with finesse, with minimum effort, and without a hint of tension or hesitation. It's about mastering the art of movement, so every stroke feels effortless and natural. And let's not forget about the role of visual information in all of this. Sabalenka, like all top athletes, relies heavily on her ability to read the ball's trajectory and adjust her movements accordingly. It's like a dance between her eyes and her hands, guided by years of practice and countless hours of drills. Her aggressive playing style is also fueled by some seriously impressive footwork. So, what's the deal with these drills? Well, they're like the secret sauce that gives Sabalenka that extra edge on the court. Whether she's charging the net for a volley or sprinting to chase down a drop shot, her footwork is what allows her to stay balanced, stay agile, and stay in control of the point. But it's not just about speed and agility. Sabalenka's footwork drills also help her anticipate her opponent's moves, giving her that split-second advantage that can make all the difference between a winner and a missed shot. By constantly challenging herself to move faster, hit harder, and think quicker on her feet, Sabalenka is not just honing her physical skills, but also her mental toughness and resilience.